Hey everyone, it's Jake of Jake's Metal Chat, and as promised, I have a new series for you. I mentioned this on my favourite death metal albums, my second episode that I've done so far, and in this series, I will be exploring and showing you my favourite albums within heavy metal, thrash metal, death metal, black metal, doom metal, sludge metal, and folk metal from the 1980s and 1990s. I have so much here to show you within my metal vault and i know there's a lot of you but like i know that album been listening to that album since it came out or i got it back in the day and you know and you probably told your friends about it who were like you told their mates about it and it's just been getting a lot of circulation within the scene but you might be a newcomer and don't know what these albums are so Let's start off with an absolute classic from 1985 from a band from Italy that had formed in 1980. They've been a band since, what, for 43 years now. And this album's been out for 38 years. This is Bulldozer, a black speed thrash metal band who, their music's just absolutely intense. For anyone who has seen them, Comment down below to let me know what they're like, because I would like to see them live someday. Hopefully they come to the UK, because I want to hear this album that I'm about to show you live. I would love to hear all the other albums live, but this one specifically, it's their evil, monstrous debut that came out on the 13th of March, 1985, on Roadrunner Records. I am talking about the day of... Wrath, and that is just, just, uh, just you know, what what words can you give this? It's evil. Of course, you got AC on the front and also on the back, but it does say Roadrunner on the Italian page. But there it says, let's just get it. Shadow Kingdom Records. But either way, this came out all the way back in 1985. This is 38 years old. And 38 years later, it's still going strong. It's still evil. It's just absolutely awesome. And I want to show you the vinyl in this as well. Got the picture there, the lyrics there, and the vinyl. It's this nice splatter edition here. One side purple and the other one clear with a little bit of splatter there. Really nice vinyl. When I played it on my record player, absolutely awesome to see. Just seeing it spin, seeing it spin around, you know, just having the clear part of the vinyl just disappear and just and just see more of that dark purple consuming this record and basically it feels like this record's consuming you as well as soon as you've listened to it you're just instantly hooked on it i was instantly hooked on this band when i heard them the first time around which was I'm going to say around 2011, maybe 2012, maybe even earlier than that. And a little, little trivia. Uh, AC's nickname Wild was given to him by Kronos of Venom. And his son has been the keyboardist since 2009. And, well, that's the more, the more you know. Now, what do you get with this album? Well, you got songs like The Exorcism, Cutthroat, Fallen Angel, Madman, Whiskey to Time, just to name a few. And just to show you the back as well of the album. Now, that de now these guys definitely scream early incarnations of the black metal scene back within the, within the early to mid 1980s this album along with an album that i will be showing within this series that came out the same year just screams early black metal and the other one 
screams early death metal. And you know which one I'm on about. But let's continue talking about this one. Let's keep exploring it. And there's so much more to say about this. It's just from start to finish. It's intense. It's evil. It, it's punching you in the face. It's, it's just an album that, for all you newcomers out there who are looking for something old school, something, just something absolutely ball to the wall, insane. Look no further than this and all the other albums that I will be showing in this series. Just an album that anyone with in the metal scene that loves their early stages of black metal, the, the early black metal, the first wave of black metal should definitely have this. But it has, like I said, speed and thrash metal mixed in there. And those three genres on this album blend so well together. It's just an absolute beast of an album. AC Wilde's vocals and his bass skills are absolutely dominant on this album. And the guitar and getting on to the other members of the band, of course, Andy on guitars, his guitar work is absolutely just phenomenal. Same with Don, who on the drums. Of course, they had Dario playing bass on track four. He did sadly pass away in 1988, so do rest in peace, brother. And also a narration by Adrenia. I'm not going to try and say his name because I will butcher it, so I better not. But I'll try and say his last name. Boson, persona, Boson, Boson. Probably said that one. My pronunciation skills, not the best, but I do try. And, of course, the producer of the album died this year, back in May. Rest in peace, of course. The last band he was in was a band called Tank. And, of course, from here in the UK, a place called Surrey. So, a little bit more trivia there for you. Now, to look at the band's the talent page, of course, classes black speed, thrash metal, lyrical themes such as death, society, anti-religion, humor, war, alcohol, and sex. Which, when you hear a band like this, and there's a lot of bands that have those same similar themes or may have one or two different ones. And just to bring up some of the ad additional, additional notes, of course, the band was formed in 1980 by Dario, Emilio and Andy. The band recorded a two-song demo in 1981. It was never released due to the military service. They did disband at a time and reformed again in 1983, which is when AC Wild got introduced to Dario by Andy. But due to some problems within that band, um, of course, Emilio and Dario left. They did, they did leave before the signing for Roadrunner actually commenced. So, so they were not in the band when when the band actually signed with Roadrunner. And Don did join the band, obviously on bass, but switched, in, switched his instrument to drums as, as to why he plays drums on this absolute beast of an album so ac took over on bass as well as vocals and to end on this note the real bulldozer was born absolutely just one hell of an album and let's raise a beer to it raise a beer to the band cheers now to any newcomers for stuff like this it's important to know that back in the day there was it was just it was all just metal back in the day, but was given the black speed thrash metal. Thrash metal came around in the early eighties, 
But black metal wasn't really a genre until years later when the Norwegian scene blew up in the early 90s, but also started within the early mid 80s as well with bands such as Mayhem being one of the biggest ones ever. And just to also find similar bands to these guys, so Venom, Motorhead, Hellhammer, Bathory, Sabat from Japan, Sarcophago, Celtic, Frost, Sodom, Tormentor, Volcano. The list goes on, like bands around that time. All You can definitely hear similarities from them in this because with this you get you do get that venom vibe and you also get that strong motorhead vibe as well it's very it's a very venom motorhead type of an album definitely in my opinion it might differ from everybody else but to me i definitely get a strong venom motorhead sound but then i might get a little bit of Celtic Frost and Hellhammer, but it's all blended so well together that these guys just made their made it their own and just just pursued with this album, got it out, and it's just it's just been going strong ever since. Like I said, it's thirty eight years old. It came out on the thirteenth of March of nineteen eighty five, so it's already had his thirty eighth birthday. But two years from now, this album's going to be 40, and I guarantee you that I will be playing this on its 40th anniversary. It's definitely an album, again, repeating myself here, that you need to have in your collection because, because if you are into your thrash, your speed, and your black metal, this is definitely one that you need. If you are into bands like Toxic Holocaust, who are definitely on the black speed metal speed thrash black metal and same with bands and volcano and sodom and tormentor and slayer as well like get you get a little bit of slayer in here and possessed and creator as well if you're into the into your thrash your black your speed your New wave of British heavy metal as well. Because, like I said, when I mentioned Venom, looking them up here on Metallum, they cast as new wave of British heavy metal, heavy metal, speed, black metal. Like I said, I got that Venom motorhead vibe. It's one for all underground heavy metal maniacs, heavy metal fans, fans of of metal who have been fans of metal since since the 1980s since the 90s since the 2000s and 2010s and the and this decade you know because always getting new fans and i know there's going to be a lot of people like who would listen to stuff like this and like yeah this is more me i want to form a band on this and there's a lot of bands that i have definitely heard like a uh, death hammer from Norway. I can, when I hear them, I'm just going back to songs that I've heard. I definitely get a bulldozer, Bathory, Venom vibe within their music. And there's so many other bands, but just as I'm showing this album, definitely there's bulldozer within death hammer. And there's a lot of bands like there's definitely like midnight as well like, you know on the black speed thrash metal like more black in speed to be fair when i heard some midnight and i, I got a little bit of bulldozer as well and the, yeah this is one again to the, to all you metal maniacs who are who've been into metal as long as I have, or a lot longer than I have, should have this album already, either on an original pressing or the new one that I have here, which came out, uh, well, it got licensed by Shadow Kingdom Records in 2022, so got re-released with that Splatter edition, but re was released by Roadrunner back in the day. 
any new fans, if you like, you probably like, yeah, I know Midnight, I know bands like that. And I've just, and you just seen this, and you think, you got, you got go, yeah, go listen to it. I got this at Black City Records as I'm wearing the t shirts. Here, the first t shirt design, the logo, and where the shop's based, and you know, Black City Records had it. I picked it up. Most of the stuff I will be showing within my videos, be it this series, my favorite death metal albums, uh, my collection videos, it will all be from Black City. Some will be from gigs, some will be from mates who are like saying, here's a, here's a band to check out, and they give me a CD, and I'll listen to it. I love my death metal, of course. I love the thrash metal. I love the black metal. Of course, speed. And I want speed metal will also be featuring here in the vault. And this has all three. You got your black metal. Of course, more of the uh, imagery um, as opposed to the music. Obviously, what we know of black metal now, a lot of tremolo picking, a lot of high pitch screaming. Just, just absolute... De demon, demon like vocals. I'll say that as much better than screaming, agonizing screams. What you get in black metal here is it's pro, it's the proto black metal sound, definitely. And you know, you got the thrash in there, you got the speed in it. It's intense, it's hard, it's heavy, and it's one that. I know there's going to be a lot of people who put up something like this. They'll just be out with some friends, like just out in the back garden, backyard, where if you're in America, it would be a backyard, just putting this on, got some beers, and you're just, you're just banging your head, just going like, yeah, this is absolutely freaking amazing. And it's one of those albums you definitely, definitely need in this. Needing any metalhead needs in their collection. Definitely one for those who would prefer this to say just heavy metal and death metal and thrash you want that mix of three genres this one bulldozer the day of wrath from 1985 one album that when i heard it the first time around fell in love with it and i heard it again it's reminding me of that time when I first heard this band because I watched a video on YouTube of the first wave of black metal. These guys showed up on the video. I thought, I don't know that band. Checked them out. And been one of my favorite bands since. And for anyone who has been a fan of Bulldozer, Comment down below. Tell me which album album you heard first. Might be this one. Might be the second one. Or you might have gotten into them a little bit later like I did. Which I would say about 2012 maybe. Maybe a bit earlier than that. And if you've seen them live, comment down below. Where did you see them? And Well, comment down below. How did you, know, you hear about them in the first place? What was your first initial impression of the band? What what was it about them that you liked? You know, so whatever it is, comment down below and just let me know what you think of the band. And for any newcomers who want a new band to listen to, here's one for you. Once again, this is Bulldozer and the day of Raf. And that is the first episode of my Metal Vault. I hope you enjoyed it. Bit of rambling because there was so much trivia about the band. So much things I wanted to say. Obviously just saying it's a monster evil sounding album. One for everybody that loves Black Speed Thrash. Needs it for their collection. Again, you're into bands like Midnight and Death Hammer and toxic holocaust this is a band you'll definitely enjoy 
if it's not your thing, then you're not you're not going to enjoy it. But if it is your thing and you clicked on this video, you're definitely someone who loves speed and intensity. And this definitely, definitely, definitely shows that on this when you hear it. An absolute 100% definition of black speed, thrash metal from 1985. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in to the first ever episode of the Metal Vault. I have more videos to come on Saturdays and Tuesdays. And so, so many, I'm going to go through the collection and did what I've done before, write down the band name, when they form, where they're from, any other bits of trivia about the band, and try and say more things than just say intense and evil. But this is a, but this album pretty much describes it, evil intensity and absolute maniac speed. So do check out Bulldozer. Do follow them on their socials. We'll be down in the description below and where you can find this album. And if you did enjoy this video and you enjoy my content overall, do like this video, share it around, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of my videos. Chats are still coming. All depends on my guests. When I have new guests, depends on their availability. It might be the weekday, it might be the weekends. And of course, it depends when I can do it, because I'm quite a busy man myself, going out to all these gigs, and of course, work as well on the side. So once again, thank you very much. Keep the banner and metal held high, and I will see you again for another episode of my Metal Vault.